Hi everyone, it's Petrina with Homegrown Florida and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to grow lettuce inside during the worst heat of the summer. Since the inside of my house stays about 70 to 72 degrees with the AC, this is the perfect environment for lettuce to grow. Um, when we grow it outside in the temperatures that we've been having in this hot and humid Florida that I live, which is right around 90 to 95 degrees, um, lettuce becomes very bitter and often bolts, which means that it goes to seed. The first step to growing lettuce in your arrow garden is to first disassemble the arrow garden completely and clean it out really good with soap and water, especially if this is a new arrow garden for you. The next step is to take the growing medium, which is the little brown peat moss type material and place it into the white plastic holders. And then you're gonna place those white plastic holders into the arrow garden slots I picked various types of salad greens to grow in my arrow garden, such as um, salad bowl mix, um, black seeded Simpson, um, small leaf romaines, and also endive, which is one of my favorite lettuces. Now, any lettuce, um, particularly a loose leaf lettuce, is going to be good for an arrow garden. Um, a lettuce that probably would not be a good choice for an arrow garden is going to be something like an iceberg that requires a lot of space for it to head. Um, what you're looking for is a loose leaf lettuce that you can do a cut and come again method from. So you'll want to add two or three of your lettuce varieties to each one of the growing medium pods in your arrow garden. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to place the um, sticky label on top of the pods. And this is going to help with things like allergy and mold um, from growing on the top where the water and the light meet. Once you've added all your seeds into the pods, then you're going to want to cover the pods for the first few days with the plastic dome. This helps uh, allow those seeds to get the humidity that they need in order to germinate. Once the seeds have germinated and you see the beginning of the sprouts, you'll remove those domes for the remainder of the growing process. The next step is adding all the water and the fertilizer. If you have the Aero Garden um, liquid fertilizer, you're gonna do two cap fills on the first initial filling of your Aero Garden. Um, Any time that the light comes on indicating that you need to add more, you'll just do one cap full. You also can use other fertilizers. I use um, Neptune's Harvest Fish Fertilizer if I don't have any of the Aero Garden, fish, uh, Aero Garden fertilizer available. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll mix it with the water, we'll pour that water in, and then we'll continue to fill the reservoir with water until we reach the maximum water point. Plug in your arrow garden and then bring the light all the way down as low as it can go um, when you put your seeds first in. You'll raise the light as the plants grow, only as far up as the next uh, level with each time that you're raising it. When you initially start the arrow garden, the light will come on and if you press and hold the light, it will flash and then remain on. This tells you that it is resetting the timing of its 12 to 14 hour um, routine to start at that exact time that you pressed and held that light. This is my arrow garden 30 days later. And as you can see, I have lots of lettuce that I can use. And I have actually already harvested from this once. Um, when you harvest from your arrow garden, you are gonna cut the outer leaves and uh, leave the center there and that will allow it to be that cut and come again process. So I'll be able to harvest from this probably four or five times. So this is how you can grow lettuce inside in your arrow garden during the hottest months of the year. I hope you enjoyed watching today um, and giving you an idea of thinking outside of the box and how to creatively grow 
uh, when your climate is not necessarily cooperating.